Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox 2 video and today we're doing another episode of checking out your solar systems. So today we've got actually three different simulations all from Goomba Fan again. So yeah, many thanks to him for sending them in. So yeah, we've got three of them here. So yeah, it's going to be pretty fun. But um, yeah, just a quick apology for the lack of videos. I was quite busy um, last weekend so I didn't have any time sadly to make stuff. So obviously it was like Mother's Day and stuff. So yeah, I was, I was quite busy. So yeah, apologies for the lack of videos over the last few days. But... Um, to make it up to you, I'm gonna I'm gonna make a lot of stuff um, this week. So, yeah, that is what we're gonna be doing today. So, yep, today we're checking out free systems from Goomba Fan, as I mentioned. So, um, yeah, I'll leave a link to his stuff all down below, like I normally do. But before we begin, guys, we um, hit 2,500 subscribers um, last video. So, yeah, massive, massive thanks to everyone who subscribed, left a like, leaves a comment, just leaves support in general. Just a massive, massive thanks to you. It's much, much appreciated. And let's see if we can continue going and try and get that 3,000 goal before April. Because that would be amazing. Yeah, so if you haven't already, subscribe if you're new. Help us on the journey to 3,000 because that would be amazing. But anyways, let's get into this. So, yeah. Actually, before we begin as well, just um, a quick note, like I say every video. If you want to send a solar system in, upload your system. So the U-Box file. Up, take it out of your simulation folder from Universe Sandbox. Upload it somewhere I can download it. And then put a link to in the comments. Yeah, so that's what you need to do. But anyways, let's get into this. So, yeah, we've got three simulations from Goomba Fan here. So, we are going to do... There's, um, let me just try and find the name. I'm really hard to pronounce some of these. So, we're doing a solar system called the Ruba system first. So, yeah, I've got it in my custom list here of stuff. There's quite a lot of things here. So, right. So, let me see if I can find it. Let me just search it, actually. So, Ruba. Okay, there it is. Right, so, this is the first simulation we're checking out today, so here we go. Ooh, that's quite a dark coloured star, so let's just have a look at what we've got with here, so... Ooh, a double star system, okay, first double star system we've got so far. So this is quite cool. And I see that hidden object, we'll check that out last, so... Let's go all the way down here and begin, so... Right. So there's not, there's a fidget spinner. <laughs> fidget spin oh. Let's see what you did there with the, um... Juno probe. So, first of all, we have a fidget spinner as a joke object mentioned here. A very, very big fidget spinner. Look how large it is. Six. That's the size of Earth. <laughs> Look at this. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, there's Earth. It's literally the size of Earth. Alright, so yeah, we've got a fidget spinner there. So, there's the first object. Right close to this star. So, this star is very, very dim, as you can see here. Very, very small in mass as well. Let's just get a quick comparison with Jupiter there. So, it's relatively small. So, there is that. What else we got here? Okay, you can see it's luminosity. Let's put that into suns. Very, very dim, as you can see there. So, yeah, let's head out and let's see what's first. So, right. Let's see what we've got. So, here's our first planet. So, we've got a brownish colour. It's quite hard to spot. Let's just go on studio so we can see. So, yeah, that's the true colour of the object there. So, we've got Ruber... Ka so, sorry, I can't pronounce the second one. Ka Caliginus. I'm going to call it just Ruber Caliginus. I'm so sorry I'm, if I'm saying this wrong. But, yeah, so we've got that. I'll just call it Ruber A. So, we've got a mass of 111 Earths. It's a gas giant, as you can see. Relatively hot in temperature, as you can see, 80 degrees. Here is its structure, so it's got a bit of everything, as you can see there. Reflects 16% of the light. So, yeah, there is the first planet. Then we've got a moon here, so it's called... I, I, I'm not even going to attempt saying it. I cannot pronounce that. I'm so sorry. Yeah, you got, you got this one here. So, yeah, there's its name if you want to try and spell that. So, or, or read it, sorry. So, minus 30 degrees, reflects 65% of the light. There is its structure. It's in a nice blue and white theme. I, I do like the blue and white theme. So, yeah, there you go. So, that's looking good. Very close to its parent planet, you can see as well. All right, so there's that. Then we've got one more little object here. Oh, I'm liking that colour. Okay, so it's like a um, sort of dark sea green. A sea green sort of colour with like some lime green high elevation there. That, that's pretty cool. So... I, I'm, I'm sorry, but I, I really don't know how to pronounce this one either. But Electrotol? Ele Electrotol? To I, I, yeah, I think that's how you want to say it. I'm so sorry if I'm saying it wrong. So, yeah, there is that. So, there's our first planet. Very close to the star as well. Like, is how close is it? Uh, let's just check on the... Um, okay, so let's just check in um, lunar distances. So, it's only 22.7 lunar distances away from the star. So, it's relatively close. Alright, so what have we got next? So, oh, some crazy names you've got here. Alright, so we've got a virus spacecraft. So what's this? Oh, is this that really weird object? I never, I've never really shown this in a video before. Yeah, it's this thing. I'm, I don't know what this is, but what is this from? Like, a, I don't, I really don't know what this is from, but it's one of these, isn't it? Um, it's the arrival space. Is it the arrival spacecraft? Yeah, I think it's this thing. 
What? Anyone know what that is? I, I don't know. Am I just being dumb or like, am I missing something? Like, I don't know what that is. If anyone can let me know what the arrival spacecraft is, it like a film or a game or something? I honestly have no clue. So yeah, if someone can uh, tell me that, that'd be much appreciated. So yeah, there's that. So virus spacecraft. So then we've got uh, yeah, that name there. Hab Habitu Kuchekil. <laughs> is this like a test to see how good I pronounce? Like... <laughs> Oh, God. All right, oh, and this has got a white atmosphere. Okay, I don't actually have a planet of a white atmosphere. I may actually use this as a template, actually. So, yeah, this has a custom white atmosphere. Look, if we just um, turn it off. Yeah, it's a white atmosphere. Very nice. I like that. So, that's looking cool. Yeah, so looking good with the white and blue theme as well. That's looking nice. So, yeah, here's its stats if you want to check those out as well. So, not much water on it, as you can see. Quite a high life likelihood number there, 80% pretty much. Earth similarity is about 50%, so pretty cool stuff. But even though it's got a um, life li um, a life likelihood, it's very cold here. So that's pretty interesting. We can hit play as well, just to do that. And we've got a relatively large moon as well. So it's also kind of more of a dark coloured object, as you can see. So Mermody, Memody, I think that's how you say that. So there you go, it's mostly made of iron, as you can see there. It's obviously cold, reflects a lot of light, so yeah, there's that. I'm not, I'm not really expecting much of these planets to be hot, since these stars are very dim. So yeah, there's that. Alright, next object here. We have got 2035 CO43. So nice, easy one to say there. So, cold here. Not really much to see, as usual, with these small objects, just because they're very basic. So yeah, there's its stats. Apparently it's got 23% Earth similarity. Don't know how it's managed that, since there's no atmosphere or anything here. It's very cold. Yeah, so yeah, there is that object. Right, there we go. Let's see what we got next. So we got 2027 RM54 there. So another very similar object to the previous one. So it's just um, another small minor object like this. There's all of its stats. This one's got some water on it though, as you can see there. So that is that. So that's 132 kilometers. So quite small as well. Um, all right, what we got next? All right, so always oh, a lot of objects here. So we've got MJA Conradi. Is this like an asteroid belt area by any chance? It's got a lot of little asteroids. I'm guessing all these like names like this these are all asteroids as you can see here so yeah i'm guessing these are all the same oh got a sneeze coming <laughs> all right so mga laketti i think that's how you say that yeah. um we got ugnach i think uh, Ugna. i'm so, sorry sorry if i'm saying these wrong so yeah there's that one so all minor objects as well and then we've got this one here they're pretty much all the same so we won't like zoom in on them so there's all that we've got emilo as well that's a nice one to say then we've got Kas Kaski B. So is there Kaski A as well? Let's see what we got here. Well, just like a little binary. Oh, a little binary system with two little asteroids. Uh, the same size. Wow, we still have a whole other solar system to check out there. All right, so yeah, we've got these two here. All right, let's see what we got next. All right, so then we've got... Um, oh. All right, let's see what we got here. Ooh, oh, wow, this color's looking cool. So we've got a um, sort of turquoise cyan color. It's here, so... Nablu Fia, I think that's how you say that. So, there is that. So, it's sort of relatively cold here. How dark is it here? Is it, like, completely dark? Yeah, it is completely dark here. So, yeah, we'll have to stay on studio mode. There, so, there's that. Hey, my sneeze has disappeared. Let's hope it stays away. All right, so, Fini Magni. So, ooh, I'm liking the yellow with the light blue. Or the very, very light blue there. That's looking cool. Very cold here as well, but obviously it's expected since there is no sunlight here. So, yeah, these worlds would all be unhattable for humans just it's too cold and there's no sunlight so we won't be able to really grow crops here then we got set sexagimismus i think that's how you say sex se <laughs> oh god yeah so you got this one here so there is that one right, when i saw it, i almost thought it said savage but no it says that so there we go no, i really cannot pronounce these all right so next on here we have got um Oh yeah, wait, did I already see these ones? Wait, yeah, I did, didn't I? Um, yeah, we've got these two binary ones again. All right, so let's see what we have in the next. We're only six AU away as well, so it's pretty, pretty dim star there, like we expected. So, all right, then we've got more minor objects as well, just simple little objects as you can see here, all with the same sort of structure and size. All right, so next up we have the um, next little star system here. So, wait, is it a gas giant? Oh wow, okay, this is cool. So we've got a, it's not even a binary star system, though. It's a it's a star with a gas giant. So this has 1.85 masses of Jupiter, and it's in a binary orbit with the star. Okay, very cool. Okay, I really like that. So it's got some, obviously some close minor objects here. So yeah, there we go. We'll just have um, kind of a quick peek on that. We don't really need to see much there. Um, 
Stasi to another small little object. So it's all the same stuff. So yeah, I really, really don't need to zoom in on these guys. It's, you can pretty much see it just in the top right there. Then we've got one called Halo. Ooh, blue. Ooh, I'm liking the blue. So I'm guessing it's very dark here as well. Yeah, because there's no sunlight. So yeah, there is that. So let's um, so just hit play. Anything? Um, okay, it's still um, not really changing. It's, we're traveling quite a slow time here. So I'm guessing I should, probably shouldn't speed it up too much. So, all right, so we've got iron, silicate, basic pretty much structure there. Um, doesn't reflect a lot of light, as you can see. And yeah, there you go. So there is that. Let's quickly check its earth similarity. And it doesn't have any... Oh, no, no, 67%. But no life likelihood, obviously, because it's completely dark. So there's that. Then we've got Amif... Ooh, that, that red's looking nice as well. So Amiflithio. I think that's how you say that. So, yeah, there we go. It's a nice dark sort of red. Quite a little, little... Quite a little small object as well, as you can see. Only 800 in radius. Or, yeah, 860 in radius there. 69. So there's that. Next object here, we've got... Hugnesi. So there we go. There's just basic stuff again. So it's a small little minor object. Um, we got Zusterone. Oh, ni nice yellow object here. So yeah, Zusterone. I think it's how you say that. Also very small in radius as well. With a lime green and yellow sort of mix. Actually, no, that's not lime green. That's that's more of a normal green. So there is that. Mix of the yellow. Looking good. So there's a good look at that. Alright, so then let's um, zoom out. Okay, what have we got next? We've got Vanov. Vanov. So this one's looking good. Liking the colour theme. Hey, it's like red, white, and blue. Like that looks like the Netherlands or the Russian flag, I think. Wait, is it no not is it the Netherlands? That definitely looks like the Russian flag, I think. So yeah, there is that. So that's looking cool. Yeah, so there we go. Yeah, it definitely reminds me of a, oh was it the Netherlands flag? That might be the Netherlands flag actually. I think the Russian flag's diff slightly different to that. Or am I wrong? Yeah, tell me what flag that looks like, but yeah. Alright, so there's that. So then we got um Vasa here. So another small little minor object there. So one 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 in kilometers radius there. Okay, next up we've got Bregnagnetu. So also going with a turquoise green theme here. So there is that. Good look at that. Temperature still obviously cold. We don't really need to check the temperatures because it's all very cold. There's no sunlight at all. So there is all of that there. So as its stats. Okay, let's see what we have next. There's so many objects in this. This is crazy. Alright, so. Next one here, we've got Avium, so like a dark brown sort of gold colour there. There's a good look at that. There we go, temperature is obviously cold, there's its structure. Okay, what we got next? Felixus, I think that's how that one said. So, there we go. Oh, wow, I really do like those colour combos. The dark blue with like the pale light blue. That's looking, I, I really like that. That's a really cool colour. Um, so, there's that one. Okay, next up we've got... Jammy two or Jammy two six one also a very cool color. You definitely like your blues, as you can see. Here's a lot, a lot of blue objects around. So there is that. Then we got K or K I. So black and grey object. Yeah, it's nice to have some of the dark objects. I really do like when black is mixed with some other other colors. It looks really cool. So there's a good look at that. So this would remind me of a volcanic world which is now like extinct. All the volcanoes are dead. So you know, that reminds me of like a dead volcanic world. Actually, that's that's quite cool. Alright, um, so we've got Eperinia, so another green object with some blue on it as well, looking good. Yeah, definitely um, a fan of the greens and blues. So yeah, there is that, so some nice blue there, looking cool. Okay, there we go, that's nice. Alright, let's see what we have next. So we've got OC Lights, ooh, okay, this is looking good. Oh, I do like that mixture of the blue and the red. Blue and red always looks good. Then we've got like the lighter blue there as well. So that's looking good. I really do like that. That's that's a thumbs up from me with the colours on this. That that looks really cool. Right, so there we go. Then we've got Wedder. So I'll see another small minor object there. Chai Salus. Actually, we can just um, get a view here as well. So yeah, there is it there. So it's also relatively small. These guys are all quite small. There's some um, instruction stuff there. So if you can see that. Then we've got Balbus, or Bal Balbus, Balbus, I think that's how it's said. So there you go. There's a good look at that. It's more of a pale dark green with a white and sort of like dark, like almost military light colours there. So there's that. There we go. Okay, let's see what we've got next. Okay, it's got this more red one. Toast. Hey, I see what you've done with the colours here. It's like um, cooked toast. So there's some toast, like the dark brownish gold colour there. Looking cool. Right, so let's see what next. Okay. We've got Emmara here. Oh, nice purple and white. That's looking cool. Yeah, that, that's a nice colour combo. I do like purple and white. That is a very nice mix. So you've got some light pink there as well. Or oh, actually, that's a bit more of a darker pink. But yeah, there's some pink on the high elevation there. Okay, what we got next? 
Megalo Me Megalon is on this one here. Alright, so we got uh, all blue and red again. Nice. I do like the blue and red combos as well. They're always quite cool. So we've got the blue and the red. I really like the red lines, the like canyons going through that. that that's cool. Got very dark purple on the high elevation here. So you can see a bit of the. This area here is the dark purple. So that's looking good. So Megalon, there you are. Also relatively small in size. Okay, next up we've got Judge Judge Simus. Red and white as well. Okay, looking cool. So. Ooh, okay, that's looking good as well. Definitely do like the colour combos going on here. So, there we go. So, there is that. It's looking cool. Alright, let's see what we have next. Alright. So, we've got Miss Mistranon. Okay, so also very small in size. Then there's its all structure, all like there. Temperature, it's obviously cold. So, yeah, I don't need to keep checking that. Right. Look how many there's still. There's still quite a lot to go here. Okay. Look at this. This is a massive system. Okay, so. Then we've got Tumoria, oh, green and red, okay. Dark green and red, sorry, so it's looking good. Very unique as well. Look at that. So there's a good look at that one. That's, I, that's probably one of the, my favourite ones I've seen so far as well. So there we go. Alright, now let's have a look. What's next? So many objects, this is crazy. Um, we've got Bar Baratrum here. So a nice dark red, almost reminded me like Sedna. But Sedna's slightly different to this. It's more of a lighter red, I think, the one I have. With a, so we've got a dark red and black going on here. That's quite cool. Okay. Now let's see how, what else we have here. So we've got Leo Leo live, live. So this one here. So it's also a very, very pale light green, as you can see here. It's almost white in colour, but yeah, it's a light, light green, as you can see. Looking cool. Okay, also 3.33 AU as well. So it's still relatively... It's a fair, fair far away distance, actually. 144 years around that gas giant planet there. Then we've got Wopulili. Wopulili. So all nice, like, dark purple. Like, got, like, a almost indigo-like colour. Then we've got a blue as well. That's a nice mix. That is, that's a good nice mix. So, actually, I really like the mix of colour here. That looks good. Right, so let's zoom out again. Okay, so now we're on to the outer areas of this system. So, then we've got another little minor object. Yep, so... 83 in radius, yeah, not really much to see here. It's just another small little one. Okay, so then we've got this. What, what's going on down here? Okay, so we've got the Habitukel... Oh, that is such a long name. Habitukelkilen spaceship. 500 meters in radius. Quite a large um, ship, actually, in length. Okay, so there's that. So it's just chilling out here in the um, outer rim of this system. Then we've got another little minor body all the way out here. So another small little tiny guy there. And then lastly, we've got this um, 2090 SV21, so another small little um, object as well. But now, let's get to that little hidden object at the end here. So, let's go and have a little peek. What is this? It's very far away. Look how far it is. So, it's called Maths Planet Gift. So, gift for the math pros. Okay, let's just see what we got over here. Alright. So, it's a gift, so I'll save this object. So, here it is. Ooh, okay. Oh, I do like the dark green. That actually reminds me of my old 2016 like intro screen, a little bit. But the, that screen was a little brighter. Kind of, that's what it reminds me of. Um, first impressions. So it's got green and black. That's looking cool. Any um, atmosphere? Don't know. There's no atmosphere. Very very cold here. How far away is this? Like, if we just turn all this off. You can't. You can literally barely see the star over there. That is how far away this is. So. 6,776 AU away, so that's a lot of distances. Light years, 0 0.1 light years away. Okay, this is this is very far. So, yeah, there's its structure there. Earth similarity, definitely no life likelihood. It's completely dark here. This is just in deep space, this guy. Look, so there's that. So, yeah, but we'll save this. Why not? So, there we go. Gift for the math bros. So, yeah, there we go. Maths planet. So, yeah, there is our first simulation from Goomba fans. Let's go out and um, check the this one. But, actually, before we do that... Let's get a whole lineup of all the guys here. So we've got the star, and we've got the two gas giants there, and we've got Nablufia. This one I, I like. I definitely like the white atmosphere. I may actually use that um, as a template in the custom bodies simulation. So yeah, we can get around to doing that. There's the fidget spinner. <laughs> fidget spinner. All right, so then we've got all these guys. There's a long line here. That I really do like the dark green. Actually, that could actually be one of my favorites. This one definitely in my top like favorites as well. Okay, so um, keep going here. So there's that like black volcanic one I was talking about. This one is quite cool as well. Definitely um one of my top ones as well. 
Then where was that um, one I saw earlier? The pink one there. Oh, that's quite cool as well. There's the yellow one again. It's got a good look here. This one as well, like I mentioned, that that is a very nice object. Definitely one of the top ones. Got the sort of light green again. Then here's all the minor objects, which we don't really need to look into, just because they're all the same. But we can um, go all the way down here if you wanted to see the smallest. So there we go. Let's keep going here. And then the smallest thing is the little spaceship. Oh, and yeah, there you go. So there's a, there's a complete um, lineup of all the objects. Actually, that would make a quite a good thumbnail, actually. We could, could do that as a thumbnail. We haven't done a, I haven't done a thumbnail like this in a while. We could do that, maybe. All right, I'll get around to making a thumbnail. See what the other systems are like. So, yeah, there is the first system. So, yeah, let me know what you guys think about this in the comments. So, yeah, there's the first system of today's video. So, yeah, it'd be a bit of a longer one. So, yeah, I thought, why not just do all of them in one go? Like, why not? We don't do these episodes. Um, so these episodes aren't the most common thing on the channel. So, yeah, actually, no, I guess they are, but not as common as some of the other things. So, yeah, there's the um, giant line of objects. So, now let's move on to the next system. So, right, the next system is called the Caro Carousus system. So, let's go and find that. Oh, no, no, yeah, Caro. Okay, so here's the Carousus system. So, this is what we have next. So, let's go in here. Okay. Let's see what we got. So, let's just zoom out. Okay, so there's our start. Oh, this one's actually um, plain as well. So, okay, so here's the whole system. Oh, very big. Another object out here. Anything else? Okay, that's it. Okay. Right, let's see what we got here. So, it's definitely a lot smaller system. So, we've got a relatively large star here. 100 suns, 2.8 AU. So, this is, this is definitely a, almost in the hypergiant category, I think. Let's just compare it to, compare it to Beetlejuice, actually, because... For me, Beetlejuice is the um, marker between a super and a hypergiant, but that's just my opinion. But anything larger than Beetlejuice, I believe, would be a hypergiant. So this is compared to Canis Majoris, for instance. Yeah, I'd say this is definitely a supergiant. Actually, where is Beetlejuice, anyway? Hello? Where are you at? Ah, uh, there it is. Yes, it's definitely smaller than Beetlejuice. And Beetlejuice is a red supergiant star. So, yeah, this um, this is this would definitely be a super giant, I'd say. Definitely not a red giant. So if we just compare it to the red giant sun, for instance, I'm guessing it's going to be a lot bigger, as you can see. So yeah, this, this would be a super giant, I'd say. So it's relatively cold in temperature. 5,000 luminosity of sun there. So it's quite um, bright. Okay, so here we go. We've got like a Mercury-like planet here as well. A lot of these systems you guys send in do have a lot of Mercury-like objects. That's like a little trend that's going on, I guess. It's always that one little inner rocky planet. It's always relatively hot in temperature there. But yeah, there we go. So... I like in the colour scheme of that with the star. The star colour makes it look even cooler. It's like a burnt sort of wasteland sort of object. That's looking quite cool. So there is that. So that's our first object. Okay, let's see what we got next. Okay. So we've got Earth Masu. Oh, I'm liking that. Alright, so let's see what we got here. Okay, all the sunlight definitely makes it have a different... It almost makes the atmosphere look green almost. So there we go. So let's just get a studio look there. So there's the um, planet in its all its glory there. So there we go. Um, temperature, there's all of its stats. So it's very hot here, so this would be a very good vacation spot if you want to get, like, um, or go somewhere nice and hot. Like, look at this temperature here. Like, even the North Pole, there's no ice or anything, so, yeah, this, this is quite warm here. So that's, that'd be quite an interesting tourist destination to go to. So there is Earth Masu. Um, relatively similar to Earth and Radius, just a, it's about 4,000 radius bigger. Definitely got a lot more masses, as you can see there. And then it's got a little moon called Earth Masu B. Ooh, okay, this is looking cool. Oh, it's got city lights. Hey, that's looking cool. City lights. Hell yeah, that's that's cool. Right, it's got some, a lot of city lights, as you can see. It's a very dark colored object. Let's get um, a look at it. So, very, very dark blue here. A very Just above zero degrees in temperature as well. Um, it's also quite small in size. There's it's some stats there. There's no life likelihood. So, how are the cities here if no one lives here? <laughs> if it's no life likelihood. There you go. So, this would be like colonized sort of cities then. So, yeah, there is that. So cool, we've got a um, planet with lights on it. That's the first one of those we've seen so far. Right, so there is the first um, planet, to, or the second planet, sorry, because we already saw the first one. Right, so the next we have... Ni I, I, I cannot pronounce that one. <laughs> yeah, so here we go. So we've got another like dark sort of volcanic world, similar to the one from the previous simulation. Very dark, greyish, like it looks like a dead sort of volcanic world there. So there is that. Star's also quite large in the sky, as you can see. It spins quite quick as well. You can notice that spinning. It takes 26 days to spin. So, and we're, we're traveling at 19, about 19 hours, so it's spinning quite quick. Okay, so we've got next. All right, next up we've got Math Awesome. <laughs> so there's a tiny little um, little um, asteroid object here. So, yeah, really not much to see here, though, like um, all the other ones. Since it literally is just a little asteroid, not really much detail. 
165 AU away from the star. So even at this distance, the star is still relatively large. So there is that. Okay, so now we've got awesomeness. Almost, I think that's how it says. So also another little minor object there. So let's just a quick look at it. And then there's that. How hot is this? Minus 119. Okay. So next up we got Sinanush. So here is that. So also just another little one. All right, and then next up we've got um wait where's it where's it certain here so he's at i've also been sent which is the third simulation i've been sent another simulation with this in with like um, an upgraded moon system so we'll take a quick look at the moons here then we'll switch simulations and go to that um other one he sent so here is certain yeah certain so it's ripped off saturn with the name of it <laughs> yeah so yeah we've got certain here in a nice like sort of dark sort of grayish green color here so that's looking good how um, bright is it here so Okay, still relatively bright and um, here. Okay, cool. And we've got the first moon here. So it's called Toast. Wait, to yeah, Trosty. So let's see what we got here. Ooh, okay, oh, I'm liking the colour. Alright, so yellow. It's like a yellow with an olive sort of yellow as well. So there's a look at it um, there. And then obviously with the sunlight as well, making it look more of a... Yeah, that's looking cool. So there, we've got Trosty. So it's also um, 6 degrees in temperature, so it's just about warm enough. Um, there, so... Um, Earth similarity, quite high Earth similarity, 92.5. No life likelihood, probably because of the lack of water, sadly. All right, next up we have Marcel. Oh, I, wow, I really like those colours. They look cool. Okay, yeah, those colours, look at that. Oh, that is a beautiful one. That, that is nice. Similar to the one from the previous one, but this is just, this one is, this is nice. I really like that. Yeah, so there we go. So we've got Marcel here. That That's definitely the favourite object I've seen so far. So there is that. Okay, next up we've got Gerald... Gerald Dro. So there's that one. Nice green and black one as well. I do like the green and black ones. They're always quite cool. So yeah, there is that. There, so there's a good look at it. Yeah, so there is that. But before we move on to the next object, let's quickly look at the system here. Sent me. So we sent one called. Oh, sorry, excuse me. I had a bit of a yawn. So it's certain. Wait, um. Okay, here it is. So this is the simulation he sent me of this planet, but it's been updated. Here we go. So yeah. So this planet. Should have a lot of objects, but this is a whole simulation form. So, okay, so we've already, we've already seen that one. We've seen Marcel. We've seen this one. So, yeah, what have we got next? So, we've got... Okay, so we've got Stella. So, this is the next object here. So, it's a brownish grey object. Okay, looking cool. So, there is that one. Um, quite small in radius as well. Okay, so there's that. Okay, what we got next? So, next up, we've got Sturm. Also very similar in radius, similar colours as well. Looks a bit like Pluto's moon Charon almost, with those colours sort of colour things. Let's get a quick comparison. I think Charon's a little lighter in colour, but I guess they're a little similar. Yeah, no, that's, that's definitely... But remember, this isn't really accurate to the real Charon. The real Charon's more of a darker colour, so that's quite a good um, colour there. I, like, I do like that sort of dark colour there. Okay, next up we've got Palanunilian. Okay, so it's also going with like a aqua sort of yellow and green mixture here. So that's looking cool. Yeah, that's that's definitely um, a nice looking object. So there you go, studio mode. Just get a good look at that. So there you go, that's looking good. Okay, what have we got next? Okay, so next we've got Sebi. Oh, going with a green and blue theme. But green is the uh, superior colour here. So we've got green. Oh, okay, I'm liking that. That's, that's quite a cool colour as well. So there you go. So there is that. So there's Sebi. So it's cold here as well. There's obviously no star, so don't yeah, these temperatures wouldn't be accurate compared to the real simulation. We've got Spyro. Oh, this guy's burning in heat. So 700 degrees. Quite a hot planet, as you can see. It's gone um, realistic quickly. So you can see there, it's molten rock on one side there. And it's almost daylight. There's still molten rock on the daylight, as you can see there. But yeah, it's a, sort of like a yellow mixed with some um, oranges there. Let's make it more of a, like a... Vo that reminds me of like Io a bit. Jupiter's moon Io for those sort of colour theme there. So there's that. So there's Spyro. And then next up, and the last... Oh, no, no. And there's still a few more. Okay, so next up we have darts. Oh, I'm liking the red and white there. That's a, that actually looks like the planet from the newest Star Wars as well. This one here. So, yeah, we've got darts. So it's got the white and red theme as well. Looking cool. Definitely a fan of that. 9A you away. So this, this planet system is very big. Um, in size. So there's that. Okay, next up we've got U Sam. So I'll see some minor objects here, very far away. And then we've got um, S577, which is the last object. Oh no, there's one more. Okay, and then we've got um, DR Benex. But Benex, so I think. So. I don't know. Um, also similar to the planet from the latest Star Wars in colours and the previous one. So if you just go on realistic, turn all this off. 
We can't even see the parent planet. It's just, we can just about see it there. But it's very, very dark, or very, very far away. So, yeah, how far away is this then? So, three, wait, um, play. Oh, 280 AU away. That's bigger than, like, our whole solar system, pretty much. Like, that, that's a very big distance. So, there's that one. So, let's go back to the system now. So, um, let's say it was, um, where was this? Was it, was it, was this one? Yeah, okay, here we go. So, let's go back to the certain. Yeah, so some of its moons would be stretching out so far. Actually, if these moons... So if you actually put those moons in this simulation, they wouldn't actually orbit the planet, as you can see here. They're so far away that they would actually break all away and orbit the star instead. So that's simply interesting there. So, right, there we go. So there's the certain system. Right, so now we've got Paul's Rock. So this is a very small... Look at centimetres. You could pick this up in your hand, this thing. So it's so small. Oh my god, it's all buggy when you zoom in on little ones. But yeah, so this is very, very small. So it's called Paul's Rock. 3.15 centimetres. Obviously, very, very, very small. Very cold as well. 100 minus 190. So you pick that up in your hand, your hand will probably get very cold after touching that. So there's Paul's Rock. So now let's zoom out again. Okay, so now we've got negative Masu. So let's zoom in on here. So also quite a large object here. So there is that. Okay. And we've got Royal Rage. Oh, I like that. That is... I really like this one. So, Royal. If you don't get what it means, it's because it's a purple. Purple is the colour of royalty, I believe. So, there's a Royal Rage. That's... that's I really like this one. This, this is cool. And very nice um, colour combo with the pink and purple there. So, we've got a light pink um, there. Then the rest of it is all purple mixed together. Very nice. Definitely a thumbs up from me on that one. Then we've got, um, obviously, Negative Masu again. There's the main gas giant here. So, there's that. And then last up, so if we just zoom all the way out here, we got one more. So we got bad, bad Ed in it, did it, I can't say that one. So yeah, this one was a star at once. As you can see, it has a red sort of color trail on it. And it has a little thing orbs in it. So very, very, very dark purple and black. Oh, that is, I like this one as well. Very, very dark in color. But yeah, there's that one. So we just go on um, realistic. These guys are in complete darkness, as you can see here. So yeah, there we go. So there is the whole of the... Caro, Caro system. So sorry if I'm saying that wrong. So, yeah, there you go. So, a very large system as well. How far away is this then? So, this um, gas giant. 3,000. Oh, this is way bigger than the other solar system. 0 0.5 light years. So, um, the math object on the previous one was only about 0 0.1 light years. This is 0 0.5. So, this is five times bigger over all this like, whole system here. So. Pretty crazy stuff. So yeah, let us know in the comments which system you guys think is better. Do you think the Karasus system is better, or do you think the one we previously viewed um, was better, which was the um, the this one, the rubber system, the rubber Caliginus system? So which one do you think the ru the rubber or ruber, how you want to say it, is better, or do you think the Karasus system is better? Yeah, let, let us know in the comments. I'm pretty sure um, Guma fan um, will be interested to know which one you guys think is better as well. So yeah, let us know um, what you think is better. But yeah, there we go for that. So three simulations all in one video. It's probably going to be quite a long one, but yeah, hopefully you enjoyed it nonetheless. Actually, no, we're running. It's only been half an hour, not too long. I was expecting it to be longer. So. Yeah, let us know what you guys think in the comments about which system is better. So, yeah, there we go. Yeah, so hopefully you all enjoyed this video, guys. So, yeah, make sure if you did, um, hit that like button, subscribe if you're new. Help us on the road to 3,000 subscribers because that would be awesome. And, yeah, let's um, just speed this up and watch stuff go. Actually, let's do this. Why not? Let's go. Uh, cab pow. <laughs> there we go. And now we've got, like, a white colored supernova. And goodbye, goodbye, um, Karasus system. So, there you go. And let's just make this bigger, and boom. So yeah, we'll, we'll blow this one up, why not? <laughs> Actually, this goes to the other one as well. That, let's give that one the same treatment, why not? <laughs> yeah, it's not often we do this, so yeah. Let's blow it up. Because <laughs> I think some people did say, blow the system up at the end, so let's do that as like a theme from now on, why not? So yeah, there's that one blown up. And then um, the next system, let's just quickly find it again. Uh, this one here. Let's blow up this tiny little star. Hit play, speed it up, let's go. Ooh, speed up a lot more. So there we go. And there we go. Boom. Ooh, there you go. Nice colored supernovas there. So yeah, there you go. And that's going to vaporize. Oh, look at the gas giant. Oh, the poor gas giant. All these objects are going to get taken out. Oh, no. Oh, 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 no. Oh, they're all getting vaporized now. So yeah, there we go. So yeah, there you go. There's all the, um, they're all going to, they're all going to die now. But actually, before we end off, 
Um, this is one more thing. Let's just get a quick size comparison because I didn't do a size comparison here. So we've also got our mega mega um, star here, so the super giant um, star. Then we've also got all of our planets. Just go on um, studio quickly. So yeah, there's a um, quick um, rundown of all those and um, the gas giants. And then let's go to the rocky objects here. Yeah, my favourite is definitely. I think that is definitely my favourite from this system here. But um, Royal Rage comes in a close second, I have to say. Yeah, they they are definitely my two favourites out of this system. And then here we go, here's all the rest ones, all the other objects. There's the one with the city lights, and yeah, there's all the minor objects. Yeah, there we go, there is that system. So, yeah, that's pretty much everything I needed to um, say there. So I've already done, like, the outro, pretty much saying, like, subscribe, leave a like, all that blah, 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 blah stuff. So, yeah, make sure you guys all have a great day, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye. Download it, and then put a link to in the comments. Yeah, so that's what you need to do. But anyways, let's get into this. So, yeah, we've got three simulations from Goomba Fan here. So... We are going to do, there's, um, let me just try and find the name, I'm really hard to pronounce some of these. So, we're doing a solar system called the Ruba system first. So, yeah, I've got it in my custom list here of stuff, there's quite a lot of things here. So, right, so, let me see if I can find, let me just search it actually, so, Ruba, okay, there it is. Right, so, this is the first simulation we're checking out today, so, here we go. Ooh, that's quite a dark coloured star, so let's just have a look at what we've got with here, so... Ooh, a double star system. Okay, first double star system we've got so far. So this is quite cool. And I see that hidden object. We'll check that out last. So let's go all the way down here and begin. So, right. So there's not, there's a fidget spinner. <laughs> fidget spinner. Oh, I see what you did there with the um, Juno probe. So first of all, we have a fidget spinner as a joke object mentioned here. A very, very big fidget spinner. Look how large it is. Six. That's the size of Earth. <laughs> Look at this. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, there's Earth. It's literally the size of Earth. Alright, so yeah, we've got a fidget spinner there. So there's the first object. Right close to this star. So this star is very, very dim, as you can see here. Very, very small in mass as well. Let's just get a quick comparison there with like some lime green high elevation there. That That's pretty cool. So, I, I, I'm sorry, but I, I really don't know how to pronounce this one either. But Electrotol? Ele Electrotro? To I, yeah, I think that's how you want to say it. I'm so sorry if I'm saying it wrong. So... Yeah, there is that. So there's our first planet. Very close to the star as well. Like, is how close is it? Uh, let's just check on the... Um, okay, so let's just check in um, lunar distances. So it's only 22.7 lunar distances away from the star. So it's relatively close. All right, so uh, what have we got next? So, oh, some crazy names you've got here. All right, so we've got a virus spacecraft. So what's this? Oh, is this that really weird object? I never, I've never really shown this in a video before. Yeah, it's this thing. I'm... I don't know what this is, but... What is this from, like, a... I don't... I really don't know what this is from, but it's one of these, isn't it? Um, it's the Arrival Space... Is it the Arrival Spacecraft? Yeah, I think it's this thing. What... Anyone know what that is? I, I don't know. Am I just being dumb, or, like, am I missing something? Like, I don't know what that is. If anyone can let me know what the Arrival Spacecraft... Is it, like, a film or a game or something? I honestly have no clue. So, yeah, if someone can uh, tell me that, that would be much appreciated. So, yeah, there's that. So, Virus Spacecraft. So, then we've got... I uh, yeah that name there. Hab Habitu Kachekil. <laughs> is this like a tube to there? So it's relatively small. So there is that. What else we got here? Okay, you can see its luminosity. Just put that into suns. Very very dim, as you can see there. So yeah, let's head out and let's see what's first. So, right, let's see what we've got. So here's our first planet. So we've got a brownish color. It's quite hard to spot. Let's just go on studio so we can see. So yeah, that's the true color of the object there. So we've got Ruba Kak. So sorry, I can't pronounce the second one. Caliginus. I'm going to call it just Ruba Caliginus. I'm so sorry I'm sorry if I'm saying this wrong. But yeah, so we've got that. I'll just call it Ruba A. So we've got a mass of 111 Earths. It's a gas giant as you can see. Relatively hot in temperature as you can see, 80 degrees. Here is its structure. So it's got a bit of everything as you can see there. Reflects 16% of the light. So yeah, there is the first planet. Then we've got a moon here. So it's called... I'm, I'm not even going to attempt to say it. I, I cannot pronounce that. I'm so sorry. Yeah, you got you got this one here. So yeah, there's its name if you want to try and spell that. So or, or read it, sorry. So minus 30 degrees. Reflects 65% of the light. There is its structure. It's in a nice blue and white theme. I, I do like the blue and white theme. So yeah, there you go. So that's looking good. Very close to its parent planet, you can see as well. Right, so there's that. Then we've got one more little object here. Oh, I'm liking that colour. Okay, so it's like a um, sort of dark sea green. A sea green sort of colour. Test to see how good I pronounce. Like, 
Oh, God. Right, oh, and this has got a white atmosphere. Okay, I don't actually have a planet of a white atmosphere. I may actually use this as a template, actually. So, yeah, this has a custom white atmosphere. Look, if we just um, turn it off. Yeah, it's a white atmosphere. Very nice. I like that. So, that's looking cool. Yeah, so looking good with the white and blue theme as well. That's looking nice. So, yeah, here's its stats if you want to check those out as well. So, not much water on it, as you can see. Quite a high life likelihood number there, 80% pretty much. Earth similarity is about 50%, so pretty cool stuff. But even though it's got a um, life li um, a life likelihood, it's very cold here. So that's pretty interesting. We can hit play as well, just to do that. And we've got a relatively large moon as well. So it's also quite clear, more of a dark coloured object as you can see. So Mermody, Memody, I think that's how you say that. So there you go, it's mostly made of iron as you can see there. It's obviously cold, reflects a lot of light, so there's that. I'm not, I'm not really expecting much of these planets to be hot, since these stars are very dim. So, yeah, there's that. Alright, next object here. We have got 2035 CO43. So, nice easy one to say there. So, cold here. Not really much to see, as usual, with these small objects, just because they're very basic. So, yeah, there's its stats. Apparently, it's got 23% Earth similarity. Don't know how it's managed that, since there's no atmosphere or anything here. It's very cold. Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox 2 video and today we're doing another episode of checking out your solar systems. So today we've got actually three different simulations all from Goomba Fan again so yeah many thanks to him for sending them in. So yeah we've got three of them here so yeah it's going to be pretty fun but um, yeah just a quick apology for the lack of videos. I was quite busy um, last weekend so I didn't have any time sadly to make stuff because it was like Mother's Day and stuff so yeah I was, I was quite busy so yeah apologies for the lack of videos over the last few days but um, to make it up to you, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make a lot of stuff um, this week, so yeah, that is what we're going to be doing today. So, yeah, today we're checking out free systems from Goomba Fan, as I mentioned, so um, yeah, I'll leave a link to his stuff all down below like I normally do. But before we begin, guys, we um, hit 2,500 subscribers um, last video, so yeah, massive, massive thanks to everyone who subscribed, left a like, leaves a comment, just leave support in general, just a massive, massive thanks to you. It's much, much appreciated. And let's see if we can continue going and try and get that 3,000 goal before April. Because that would be amazing. Yeah, so if you haven't already, subscribe if you're new. Help us on the journey to 3,000. Because that would be amazing. But anyways, let's get into this. So, yeah. Actually, before we begin as well, just um, a quick note, like I say every video. If you want to send a solar system in, upload your system. So the U-Box file. Up, take it out of your simulation folder from Universe Sandbox. Upload it somewhere I can... 